Whoa. <laughs> How are we wearing? Whoa, dude. Whoa. Excuse me. <laughs> wow, what a fucking awesome space. Yeah, we're we're stoked on it. We've been yeah. much happier here. It's awesome. Yeah. It's great. Um, God, I I I can't believe I haven't seen you in so long. It's like you know, whenever I, when you pulled up, like it was a little aggro, but wow. well, I was just well, I needed to get a real run at that fucking uh, driveway. He, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he came on real fast. And he's got his, you know, you know, his ha head. His head is special, <laughs> very special head. In that. And um, when I saw him, it was just like seeing a long lost brother. It was beautiful. Do you want to start or do you want to catch up? What do you? Whatever you want to do. You want to do the podcast? <laughs> It wasn't even a song. Oh wow! I would because I took a, I t I woke up from a nap, so I'm a little grago, mm. um, and um, I had to get up real early. What's real that, early? Nine thirty. It was mm. terrible. Mm. It was terrible. Anyway, um, so I tried to take a nap, this and that, and then I realized one of my best buddies are coming in, and I got really excited, <coughs> but came in real aggro. But you know, he's ca Canadian beef. You know what I mean? Yum. When are we starting? <laughs> This is how we start. This is how. You <laughs> yeah, this is. So, bro, I'm so sorry. Go on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you fucking ass. Just go on. Your attitude has not changed. One. You got to understand bit. something before we. Well, go ahead. Start again. What are you gonna say? Everything is content. <laughs> I know. We'll, right. we'll get some stuff. Well, you should know that. You guys have been doing uh, Tiger Belly now for like a decade, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Something like that. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, you don't need me to tell you everything. I. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, let me. May I, May I get back? Fuck yes, yeah, give me for uh, it. Can uh, we please? Uh, all right. So all right. anyway, sorry. Go ahead. Start talking from about the, start, were, start from the beginning. You were right. Grago. Yeah. St start from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh. oh. I you love know your things. song. I love your song. So anyway, let's I love just all go your music. <laughs> let's go to the. Uh, let's just go to the intro to my friend. Uh, I've known him for a very long time. Um. I w when I w was on Mad TV, mm. um, he was one of the cast members had been there for a little bit, and um, he was the only one that really talked to me in the beginning. That's not true. Anyway, um, and then when he left, I sabotaged our friendship because I, you know, you know, I don't call back. Remember, we had that time wow. where I wasn't calling back. We drifted apart a little bit. I wasn't paying attention, so <laughs> but I did yeah. notice that you didn't call me back for a period of about three to five years. So <laughs> I took to uh, calling you as Frank Caliendo. Oh, that burns. But he's yeah. getting better at returning things. Yeah, I yeah, would yeah. call and uh, what? Frank doesn't uh, doesn't like to return phone calls and shit. That's not why I did that. I just thought I just wanted to be like, boom, tough act and connect. I'm like, <laughs> I would literally yeah. do like a yeah. Frank impersonation. Oh did, my god, Bobby did, Lee, it's me, Frank. Do you think he was really upset when John Madden died? Uh, no, uh, if, if we're talking like from the point of view of, of Frank and his attachment to, uh, John Madden professionally, yeah. no, I think he's, uh, squozing all the juice from that. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. uh, personally, probably as we all were Yeah. before I ask you, I want to say, Kalila, were you upset when, uh, hall of fame, uh, coach John Madden? Of you know the what? <clears throat> Raiders passed away. <laughs> I gotta say, I lit a candle that night. Okay. Oh, yeah. I got Good. it. Hand was not sad. Yeah. But I was not sad. Yeah. Bobby, but when what Bob, about when, you? When Bobby you know, Knight dies, though, very sad. Yeah. Well, Bobby, very namesake. sad. Yeah. You're, yeah. You're, my namesake. Yeah. Your yeah. white Indiana basketball <laughs> coach namesake. But we still have the same. We have the same temperament. Oh, oh yeah. He's de you're yeah, definitely yeah. you. I can tell just by the scuffs on the floor that you've thrown chairs. Across e e this room. I get angry. Oh yeah. 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 But can I go back to the intro? the beginning of the show again? No, can I, the intro maybe? I don't know if <laughs> so anyway, um, and uh, he's been uh, honestly, dude. Honestly, dude, <laughs> you've been fucking killing it. Like what? What you were on that sitcom? Oh, sorry, my alarm because I was taking a nap and <laughs> oh I was supposed to wake God. up just now. Okay. But the alarm, poor <laughs> sir. <laughs> 
I, before 30. Yeah. Yo, I'm 15 minutes late, and then the alarm comes 15 <laughs> minutes after that. I know. It was just a preemptive <laughs> alarm. But um, you were killing it. I mean, I remember it was either during the pandemic you had a sitcom. Oh, yeah, I had a sitcom for a minute during the pandemic. On ABC or on CB ABC, ABC yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. It was a family one. That's right. I think I saw an episode where you are very funny in it. Oh, cheers. I'm not man. a big three-camera sitcom guy, so you know what I mean? Yeah, sure. Well, getting one out of me is pretty good. You yeah, know I mean? no, it was great. Yeah. Uh, is it gone? Christina Vidal and, and uh, the Ian Curtin, Guillermo Diaz. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, of course. It's, I'm yeah, sorry. It's a television show, of course. I'm sorry. Canceled. I'm sorry. Everything I'm on. What doesn't get canceled? Exactly. No, what are you talking about? I wanted to talk to you about um, and then and just like that. Are you doing another season of that? This is the, hold on, I can tell by the confused look on your face that I need to go. This is the much-awaited <laughs> sort of sequel to Sex and the City. That. That's the That's show. what it is? Yes. What that's you're the mentioning? thing that you're Oh, in. that. I don't know. Okay. It got picked up, but I don't know. Yeah, you'll be, you'll be doing it again. Well, they, they, they made a call, but I don't know. Yeah, we never know. You never know in this fucking thing, man. That's the fun part yeah. of being in the business. Um... Was it, you know, I enjoyed doing it, but it was like not the funnish. Like I was, it, you know, like when we were on that, yeah, together. Yeah. You, know, you know, we hung out a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, we? I remember take, you took me to a couple of parties. One day you took me to this house. You just fart? No, no, no I'm just moving. My, oh, <laughs> just moving my Canadian body. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh. But I, we, you know, we hung out a lot. So you know, there's none of that going on on that. But it was still. A fun experience. That's cool. All right. Well, sorry it wasn't the... Uh, Thank you for the movie. I'm doing a movie, and I just found Thank out you're you. doing it. Wait, what? Yeah, so I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be doing a film, and I just found out you're going to be in it. Because in I the, just told you. In your driveway, yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So let me get this straight. <laughs> Yesterday, I get a call yeah. saying, do you want to do this movie Will, with, with Will Sasso? It's two, only two days. It's in Florida. Mm -hmm. And in my head, I'm like, oh, this is Will getting me a job. No. Uh, <laughs> go on. Like pulling through for me. Yeah, no. And so when I told you about it, you had no idea. So it's yeah. like, um, so I guess the producers reached out. Yeah. You know, it uh, shouldn't be much news to you, Bobby, that people like you in the business you were most recently on And Just Like That. <laughs> now, this is the sequel to Sex in the City. <laughs> All right. But yeah, no, uh, honestly, I had no idea that, uh, that you were doing this yeah. thing. I'm stoked. I'm so stoked about it. That's I like great. to hang out with you. Are we yeah, gonna, man. Are we going to eat meals and whatnot? Yeah, let's eat meals. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the yeah. best thing to eat. You shouldn't <laughs> eat anything else, really. No, but I think you and I would gorge. Yeah, yeah, we'd yeah. absolutely gorge. Yeah, yeah. They'd show up to set looking different the next day. <laughs> I haven't spent a whole, much, yeah. a whole lot of time in the area of Florida uh, where we're shooting, we're where is it? Tampa? Tampa, where is it? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Tampa, Tampa. Yeah, uh, but they got some good, you know. The, well, one thing I'm very excited about is they have uh, like Hulk Hogan's little uh, stores there. He has a store. I love Hulky. Yeah, isn't Tampa you, where you um, got a three four, three for one, two for one? I thought you said three. I never got a three. Congratulations. Thank you. That's a pretty impressive feat. Tampa was the f only time. I don't know if I should talk about it. It's uncomfortable. But it's okay. Yeah. No, I will. Um, Tampa was the only city where I made love to two women at, in one day. Okay. Wow. And it was, they didn't know about each other. Right. Right. It was one of those things where, because I've heard like other comics <laughs> talk about, you know what I mean? I don't want to name names, but I know dudes that do it, but it was just like, I just never thought it was in my skill set. <laughs> And um, what kind of skill is that? <laughs> yeah, is that, why do you call it a skill set? Yeah, what skill sets? Is, no, I mean just like being desired in that way. For me, like every time, like before Kalila, every time I would be with a girl, it'd be like, yeah. "This is a miracle!" Like I yeah. won the lottery, yeah. right? But that day was like a magical day where um, where it happened twice. Where I had to save nut juice. Oh, mm. oh. you know I what I mean? How yeah. long is your um, refractory period? Usually up. a week, but usually a week, but Forget yeah, yeah, yeah. But for that time, I um, it was like instant. You stepped up. Wow. Like stepped I, up I, I shot, clack, clack, shot again. You know Ooh. what I mean? Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> but that's never happened before or after. I mean, well, that's really just a just a matter of math and averages. If you are, a, <laughs> if, you're a, if you're a person who's uh uh you know engaged in coitus with a partner, let's yeah. say. 
five times uh, five uh, times yearly, uh, and three of them happen in one day. That is just the way. It could be all five, or it could be spread out every other month. Um, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I don't think that's. Uh, I don't think that has. I don't know that you can uh, brag about that. Just sort of. I wasn't bragging. It was just yeah. a story that I brought up, my friend. Yeah. It's. It is. Yes. Yeah, so it does it, feel good, though. It, no. It. it <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It. It means that there's more than uh, a few hours in the day to. You you there was that and then you went off and you <laughs> yeah. probably had you know you had you went to eat somewhere mm -hmm. and then no it was one of those things where and someone was someone left up. the hotel oh, okay and then an hour later somebody came up wow yeah oh, it was okay. one of those. an hour wow like an hour hour and a half yeah yeah it was Some pretty cool that's pressure yeah. yeah I would have thought that it was uh, two organic situations happening separately like you are <laughs> ha you have like you're in a relationship previous yeah. to Kalila. And uh, she comes out with you to like you're doing a, a show or you're shooting something out in Florida, and it's like come with me, we're gonna do this thing. Okay, great, yeah. Or a weekend in Tampa doing stand up, and then you have a horrible fight, and you split up, and she leaves, and you guys are screaming at each other in the lobby of the hotel. <laughs> yeah. And then you know the gal yeah. at the at the uh, stand, the receptionist, the receptionist, yeah, 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 has yeah. Been like no one calls it the, having, no one calls it the stand. Whatever. That's what I call it. That's what I call it in Canada. So you have to. Respect yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then you know you guys have just been having like some late night chats over those little yeah. tins of Pringles, or at least I do. <laughs> yeah, 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 and then yeah, yeah. Uh, she's like, couldn't help but notice you were screaming your head off at that person in front yeah. of everybody today. How about I come up uh, later and we hang out and uh, you know no pressure, no just talk. Yeah, yeah. That, but that's that does but, sound more organic. Yeah, that, yeah, that just sounds like organic. But that's never I've never been to like a mm -hmm. restaurant or you know at a hotel at the stand. Yeah, and had <laughs> had the lady working at the stand go, let's hook up. I they have to. I've always had to have somebody know me already who I am. Yes, yeah, that right. that, that happens a lot with yeah. sex. You know the person for a while. <laughs> no, no, no. In terms of fan, no fan, fan like. They have to know that I'm a comedian and whatnot. Oh, in order to want to have sex with you for uh, because all reasons are other than physical. This is what. You're saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we know who you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, who are you sing now? Same girl. Uh, I am engaged to uh, my wow. gal. Yeah, yeah. Hey, cheers. Thanks. Yeah, Molly and I have been together for like three years. And yeah. you guys have two dogs, one of which you found in the middle of a freeway? Yeah, two dogs. Yeah, Molly's had her little dog, Ronnie, for like years. She's like 11 years old. And then, uh, yeah, a couple of years ago during the pandemic, uh, she's originally from Northern California. We're driving back uh, to L.A. And to make a long story short, we pulled over to get gas like halfway, this little town. It was July the 3rd. Fireworks going off everywhere, Aww. and uh, there were some scared dogs. We were actually chasing one that was near the freeway on the other side of a fence. Big, big dog, and we're like running, sh uh, sharing, trying to like throwing Ronnie's treats, Molly's, you know, our other dog, a little cute little uh, Yorkie Dotson, <laughs> and then uh, we're th throwing those treats. Dog tears off into the night. We're like, fuck, get back in the truck. We're like, kind of like, damn, that, you know, what's going on? We're about to roll off. Molly's like, look out, there's another one. And I just see the back of Lulio, we ended up calling him. Lulio's stupid little head. Oh. He's the sweetest little, like, 12-pound. We don't know what the hell he is. He looks is just he like, looks like a papillon. <laughs> He's like papillon. Perhaps there's some border collie. There's some chihuahua. Oh. There's some kind of terrier or something. He's got, like, a strong jaw. But he's cute. We thought he was a baby chocolate lab. He's just brown. I should have brought him. He's like... But was he... Was he homeless? Uh, we think he was in a situation where, like, he had ticks and fleas. Mm -hmm. We find out he wasn't chipped. He was a little bit underweight, but he was happy. He was loving. He had never had a bath, but he never, he never stinks or anything, right? Like uh -huh. he's, he just everything you know comes off him like a, like a duck, like a, you know you know like a rain on a duck sort of thing. Like just everything goes off. Him. There he is. Oh, That's he's cute. cute. Yeah, he's on the left, and little Ronnie's on the right. When they met, were they did they get along right away, or was there? <coughs> Ronnie's the boss, little Ronnie. Um, she's she's the so cute. Dude. So he kind of, but he is very well adjusted to her, and he's he's he gets along well, particularly with big dogs. He's fallen in love with uh, one of Molly's best friend's dogs. She has this big old pit bull. They love each other. We dog sit, and his other her cousin's dog is big, huge. You know fucking golden retriever they love each other and he's just the sweetest little guy and he didn't know from a leash he didn't understand dog food mm. he he we but we think he was loved maybe 
like this town, you know, it was kind of like there was this rough dude, like I was holding them and we're like in this empty lot and we're going, what the fuck, right? And uh, there's this guy over by this this house and there's a couple little puppies walking around him and I was just holding Lulio and I go, hey, what's up? And like, <laughs> he's like, what's up? And I'm like, how you doing? And I'm like, Show, look, I got this fucking dog. He's like, yeah, not bad. Okay. So <laughs> that guy didn't claim him and I'm not going to go door to door in this no. town. No. Is this your adorable little dog? So clearly he was, we think he was like living in a garage eating pizza crusts and stuff. Like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I think yeah. he was loved, but maybe someone wasn't in, in, someone couldn't take care of him or perhaps it was That someone. stretch, I don't know what stretch of the highway you were in, but there are a lot of, because I do a lot of like rescue stuff. Oh, There's yeah. a lot of neglectful situations. Yeah. In terms of yeah. Well, the further north you go in California, it's like, yeah. like I said, like Molly's cousin's dog's like, up there, it's the country. A lot of yeah. farm dogs don't even, they never, they never come inside. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, uh, and. Um, <laughs> but what's worse? Let me ask you something. What's worse, <laughs> right? <laughs> a dog living in a house, but really no one touches the dog, plays, t- but he gets all the food and all the, right? But then a dog living out in the streets, but he does get love from his owner. But for the record, yeah. homeless people take very good care of their dogs 95% of the time. If they have their, this is one perfect example. Um, out by the House of Pies right here, uh-huh. there was a guy pushing five pit bulls on a cart. And it was a really hot day. And one of them was a puppy. And I was like, hey, like, can I help you with, you know what I mean, providing for these dogs or whatever. And in fact, I wanted to pay to get one of the dogs. Oh. Because this five is a lot. He's unhoused or whatever. Sure. And he was like, you couldn't pay me enough money. Oh, like, wow. this is my family. And I'm oh. like, I respect that, you know. But ask the dog. The dogs were probably like, like please, the dog, please. No. <laughs> I'm so hungry. But they were, yeah, the dogs were happy. They were What? Like, well, what? They're stupid wolves. They love <laughs> Oh, Every yeah, yeah. dog is a stupid, stupid, Whoa. bizarrely bred, and I say that with love, yeah. wolf, who's like, check it out. I'm outside. I'm rubbing my face in a dead mouse. <laughs> yeah. This is awesome. <laughs> Like, I, that's what I don't get it either. Yeah, you know, yeah, but yeah. it's like, I got to remind myself if Lulio isn't right next to me, he's outside rubbing his face in something dead. That is oh. true. They love dead stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, you guys, this is, I, I can't even believe we're doing this ad because literally. I quit smoking. It's been over two months now that I haven't had a cigarette, and Zipix is the thing. The, 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 the gums don't work. They, they're chewy, and you can taste the nicotine, right? All the, but I'll tell you why Zipix, if you're smoking cigarettes, this is the best way to quit smoking because of the fact that it's, there's that oral thing. The oral fixation. Yeah, there's something in your <coughs> mouth taking it out. The flavors are insanely great. The mocha, the watermelon spearmint, the cinnamon, obviously, oh, that's a classic, cinnamon, right? Cinnamon, yeah. This episode is brought to you by Zipix Toothpicks. Zipix brings you totally satisfying, convenient, and a flavorful way to curb cravings, get a boost of energy because there's caffeine ones. Yes. I have this Zipix box, right? <laughs> and I put all my in there when I'm playing video games. It's the best. Oh. So they even have options. If you want a two milligram toothpick, they have three milligram options as well. Zipix toothpicks are long lasting and available in six delicious flavor choices that Bobby just mentioned. Yeah. Go to zipixtoothpicks.com today and use the code belly to get 10% off your order. That's Z I P P I X toothpicks.com, promo code belly. Must be 21 or older to purchase. Zip more, smoke less with Zipix toothpicks. A freshly. Ah, ah, a freshly. Ah. Uh, freshly, ah, uh, uh, uh. you guys, I'm so glad Freshly's back with us because I, 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 I'm gonna rant and rave. Here's the thing, okay? You can't cook. Okay, oh, that, okay. that's that. Okay, well, that's an attack, but that's true. All right, <laughs> I cannot cook, and the thing is, is I like really high quality meals, and I'm telling you right now, it's like restaurant quality. It's like you know when I microwave it, it's easy to use, right? Yeah. And the meals are always delicious, right? Yeah, and it's really hard to find. Um, fast pre-cooked meal that isn't frozen mm. or or tasteless or highly processed. Mm. So Freshly really works for us because as Bobby says, he can't cook, but this comes fresh, delicious, 
high quality. Good stuff. Get delicious chef-made nutrient-packed meals delivered straight to your door. No cooking required. Fresh, never frozen, ready to heat, and enjoy it in just three minutes. And you can use the Freshly website or app to find <coughs> meals that fit your lifestyle with plants that work for your dietary needs, preferences, tastes, and family size. Let's say if you're vegetarian, there's that option as well. And you can choose over 50 nutritionist design entrees, like their classic peppercorn, Ooh. multi-serve sides, like their masterful mac and cheese, um. or their new line of plant-based meals. Stop stressing about dinner. Right now, Freshly is offering our listeners $125 off your first five orders when you go to Freshly.com slash belly. That's $125 off at Freshly.com slash belly. Yeah. But, you, but okay, you're right. I guess, you know, maybe you're right. If I was a dog, maybe I would be with the homeless. He likes to overindulge our pets, and I don't like it. I I, I hear what you're saying. I, I overindulge the damn pets. What? Wait, what pets? How many? What do you? Have I have seven. seven. <laughs> what? Yeah. what? Yeah. What's going on? What? what? Is, we've always had a lot. Yeah, we've always yeah, had a lot. Seven. Okay. Yeah, we yeah. have four, four dogs, dogs and three cats. cats. Holy shit! And they foster a lot too. We foster too. So we too. usually have a foster downstairs, living downstairs. So we usually have a foster mom with puppies. Oh, that's awesome! I get hungry when they come. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> it's just an ancestral, but uh, <laughs> it's a part of my yeah. heritage. Yeah. No, I I love that dog so much. Um, but I just but I do watch like hoarders. Yeah. I've been watching a lot of hoarders lately. We've been watching yeah. a lot of yeah. Movies, Don't yeah. you do love the show? And I, the worst is when you see a dog in that environment, like chained up, but it's yeah. also, you know what I mean? There's yeah. like 19 feet fucking piles of newspapers. Piles of, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I hate that. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, yeah. That's not a good... I fucking hate hoarders, man. Yeah, me too. You do? Why? Because uh, they, they're holding on to all that cool stuff. That <laughs> yeah, give me some. Less fortunate people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're yeah. so selfish. Yeah, yeah. Hanging on to all those awesome newspapers from the yeah. 80s and 90s. I saw one yesterday. Uh, the lady, a lady, her plumbing didn't work 10 years ago, so she decided to poo uh -oh. in cups. Oh, good. Right? But in plastic cups. Yep. And she was just laying around the house. Yeah. And then over the years, they just fell and they fell into the ground. And with the with the fucking rat shit and with all the dog shit too, because she had a dog, right? That it piled up, and now it's like a, a six foot high floor, floor of just fossilized. Sh sh fossilized shit. So they had to take Ugh. shovels, like it's ice, and crack it. You're right. Oh my! But God. meanwhile, the dog is chained to a fucking wall. What's that face? That's gross. What do you mean? What's that? <laughs> This is what's the most the disgusting shit. What's, of, the face? what's that face? I'm just talking about a six foot wall of shit. What's that face? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't do the face. Yeah, don't yeah, do yeah, the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, and then they have to chisel. <laughs> and then, the but the why I don't like hoarders is they're still in denial. What's wrong? Yeah, no, yeah. Everything fine. Yeah, it's very specific mental illness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they just never. But I don't. I'll never get it. You know, heroin I get. Don't you? I mean, <laughs> I, I, it, yeah, way more than hoarding. It's like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You get to just kind of check out and lay around, and there's all that. That cool Iggy Pop music, and you're in Ireland. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're friends with fucking. Yeah, you have leather jacket. Yeah, you got with no shirt on. It's you and you and Bremner. <laughs> if you're in the, uh, if you're a you and McGregor. Yeah, 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 you and Bremner. yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and the other guy. Yeah, yep. And I get I get drugs and alcohol because it, you know, it makes you feel just instantaneously. Absolutely, good, absolutely, right? Yeah. But hoarding like you know, human shit is, you know, I don't know. Yeah, there's no, yeah, I don't think it's the same kind of addiction. What, 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 what? That's rich of you. What? You're the poo master. I am a poo master. Oh, he loves poo, yeah. We're all poo masters in our own way. Yeah, but she said <laughs> the poo master. <laughs> I know, like there's you're the grand master, one. the, the grand master, yeah, yeah, yeah. master. Like I'm a Highlander, like the only one. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, um, <laughs> you're like Blade. Yeah, I'm Bla Thank you. Poop Blade. Yeah, yeah I'm Poop Blade. Um, I think we're all poo masters. We've all been doing it for a very long time. Yeah, it happens whether you like it or not. Yeah. At least you shit in a cup. You sh you bare ass it on your back seat. All right, now we're gonna get there. What I'm uh, no bro, is this what you're talking about? What is this? Is this the lady who's scooping poop? No, they're, they're all like this. Every episode. But like that. She's scooping. Yeah, yeah. It's, oh. That's what they do. She's trying to clean it up, though, at least. I What I do is I take the poo from one part <laughs> of the room in a big old 
<laughs> I get a Home Depot bucket and I haul it through and sometimes I spill it. Yeah. And then that means there's more poo and I just can't figure out where to put it. We're watching a woman just scatter poo around. Her. Yeah, oh. yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, yeah. I mean. Uh, bless us all, you know? I think in this specific, because I've seen them all, right? She had, you know, oh. hundreds of cats, mm. right? So they would lift up on the couch, mm -hmm. right? And there would just be skeleton remains of cats. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Oh yeah. Boy. Anyway. Why don't you start a new podcast? What's the face, bro? And again, <laughs> not with the fucking face, George. You should uh, you should start a podcast called Poo Blade, where you just break down every episode of Hoarders. I would, <laughs> I would listen to the shit out of yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, and I pooed in my car three times in my life. Never in the new car. You you. I'll never, never poo in the new car. I'd rather <laughs> shit in on the streets than poo in my new car. Have you ever attempted to barehand it at least? No, because mine's mine's not. Let's just say it's not solade. <laughs> I pooped myself once in in my car. Where? Uh, not too long ago, probably just just a handful of years ago. <laughs> it was just in my driveway, I just couldn't even get up my driveway. What? You were coming home or I leaving? Com I was coming home in a hurry because I was like, "Gotta poop, gotta poop." Yeah. And then was driving up the driveway and just <laughs> filled my shorts with poo poo. Oh, my but it was God. like kind of like it was the consistency of uh, of like like. Um, <laughs> I would say mm, wet cement that had been out for an hour. Like it all stayed where it was supposed to. Yeah. It didn't even st uh, stay in the seat. Right. This is a great time. I'm glad to see you again. <laughs> but just my last note, my last note, right? Yeah. It's not the shame of the poo, right, that gets to me, mm -hmm. right? It's the warmth of it. Oh. Right? The feeling. Okay. And then when it's there, for it starts to, to turn cold. Anyway, a little side note. <laughs> If I was a nurse charting your um, driveway poo, we'd call that a formed poo. Still. A formed poo. Yeah, formed. Uh, yeah, bobbies are, are uh, borderline not formed. Mm. Yeah, no, this was, uh, <laughs> I was fortunate because I've yeah. had all kinds. Were you with Molly though at the time? No, no, but she was home. Oh, okay. And, uh, did you tell her about it at, right then and there or did you? Yeah, just right away. I walked into the, she was in the den and I walked in without any clothes on go, going, you'll never guess what. She's like, <laughs> I thought I heard you in the backyard. Did you turn the hose on? I'm like, yes, I did. <laughs> and uh, no, but I was Winnie, Winnie the Pooh in it, Donald Duck in it. I had a shirt on, <laughs> but just everything was like, I got to take a shower. I'll talk to you later, but I got the rest of it out, <laughs> off outside. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. What did what'd you do during the pandemic? What I do? Yeah. I mean, were you in thing, Canada or here? Like, no, I was here. We in, were here. In, in the castle? It, in, the, in my home. Uh, yeah, have you been to his house? It, it looks like a castle. Like like old school Harry Potter castle. No. It's yeah. beautiful. It's an evil. It's an evil. It's an evil castle. Yeah. It's a great house, and I remember this is back in the day when this is. I don't know if we talked about this ever before, but um, I remember you, we set up a couple of TVs in that house. Yep, and we played what Halo. Halo. Is that yeah. land parties? What is that? Have, land parties. Yes. As a matter of fact, oh. yes. Uh, when I when I bought that house, I was. It was part of the renovation. I was like, mm. I need a land that goes from the master bedroom down to the, you know, the little den there. And so that we can specifically to play Halo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We it would have Halo. It was really party. fun. Yeah, it was great. You play I, a game. I, I remember your parties being really fun. Yeah, I used to have a party or two a year. Yeah. For like a decade. What what happened? Uh, you know, I just decided that it would be better if I sh uh, shunned most people, <laughs> stayed inside, yeah. and laid on my bed for <laughs> most of the past decade, previous to you know, I guess meeting Molly and uh, deciding that uh, shitting in plastic cups and uh, teetering them <laughs> here and there around the home yeah. is not for me. <laughs> And uh, you know, so I, as you can see, I'm clean, cleanly, <laughs> yeah. cleanly shaved now, and I, I really got my shit together. <laughs> <laughs> but we can used we, to have fun parties. Can we do another one? I would love can, to have I'll another party. How about if I co-sponsor? Yeah, no, it's not going to be one of those dry parties, so we don't need one of your sponsor. Do you, oh, you mean <laughs> no, no, I <laughs> no, like it'll be Will and Bobby's party, co-host. Oh yeah, nah, like, nah, dude, fuck that. Have a party here. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah yeah i'd like to have another another bigger party yeah man i used to have like but we were it was we were uh, young like yeah i mean we were I, young and fresh i was fortunate enough to get into that house so i was you know i was in my 20s and shit and yeah so, yeah for a while it was like i know what i should do 
I mean, the, 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 the den and the ground floor of the home is good for having a lot of people. Yeah. There's no carpets. There's some very hard floors. Yeah. Uh, people can, yeah, people are always falling off of this and that, hanging from the beams, splitting their head open. You remember Dylan Stewart? I love Dylan. Dylan. Uh, uh, he cracked Still his Still alive? Head. Yeah. He's in Long Beach. Lives oh, in Long Beach. tell him I said hi. White picket fence. Love that dude. Kids. He's white, right? No, I said white picket fence, but no, yes, but he's white. He is a white person. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Well, he's from Canada. We grew up. Oh, together. that's right. That's right. Wasn't yeah. there a just? Wasn't there a black guy that what used to hang out? Sean. Sean, mm -hmm. love that dude. He's still around. So. Yeah, Long yeah. Beach. Uh, yeah, maybe Long Beach. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but I really like that guy. Skinny, yeah, that guy was skinny great. guy, right? Uh, no, he was kind of thick. He was a little thick, swole. That's what I thick. That's yeah. what I meant. <laughs> he was like the opposite. He was like pre Andre three thousand three thousand. Like oh, he would, he, oh, he would wear, <laughs> he would wear like plaid pants and and like a, like a shirt with like a skinny little tie. And we go to the Beverly Center and uh, and then like all the other like other black guys would make fun of him. He wouldn't notice. Yeah. Well, I think you're behind on your water intake. Oh, I am a little. No, I'm. Oh yeah, that's right. Hold on. I have a little time code on the side. Where of are you at right now? Right now I'm at 11 a.m. Mm. Wait, wait, what? What is that? You drink, you drink a certain amount of water at a specific time of the day. It, what does that do? I have no idea. What is that supposed to do? Now well, you're at 1 uh, uh, 2 p.m. You're at 2 p.m. now. Yeah, I'm at 2 p.m. I can catch up quick. You want me to drink the whole thing, but then I'll get thirsty later. <laughs> no, but is that is that some sort of regimen that's supposed to be good for you? Uh, drinking water? No, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one. Hey, you know. No, I'm not drinking water, dude. Yeah. I know water is very good for you. You need yeah. to replenish yourself with liquids. Yeah. But what, what? But because there's like numbers on it and time. Is that those, those times? Yeah, those are times down there. Yeah. Thing, so yeah. is there? Is, I'm just saying. Is there some sort of science behind? No, it? I I don't know. Yeah, probably. I just like a lot of water. I like to drink a lot of water. <laughs> I've always drank it, it, way too much water. You're like, we have water as well. So oh, if you run out of that water, we have more water. Here. You got oat milk coffee? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Another thing that you t I learned from you, yeah. speaking of water, was when you lost weight. Yeah. Well, no, I'm just saying, I mean, I'm... I yeah, mean, back back in the day when you lost... I uh, lost a shit ton of weight. A shitload, but, but now over the past 20 years, I just like to gain and lose it every now and then. You look, no, you look the same. I think once no, you, I, when I first lost weight... Oh, yeah, I remember. I was down to, like, I was very, very far down. Yeah, yeah. And now I'm just kind of comfy fat. But you weren't what you were, though. No. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was very large. I was 450 pounds at my biggest. Yeah. And then I got down to 258 and had to have, and I then they cut, two uh, in two surgeries, I had uh, eight pounds of skin cut off. Wow. Wow. The surgery thing. And then I was, so I was 250, you know, like, something like 10% body fat. Yeah, a uh, very cock diesel Will Sasso version, <laughs> um, and then uh, and now I've just been kind of going, hey, this is great. Probably added a lot of years to my life, so I think a really good thing to do would be to tax my heart by gaining and f uh, losing fifty pounds for the next twenty fucking years, and that's what I've been doing. Yeah, yeah. but you said that the, one of the things that you did was uh, you'd be on the treadmill for hours, not like on a high speed thing, but yeah. you just walk for hours on that. Uh, thing, yeah. Right? Yeah. So when I'm on the Peloton, I try to go as long as I can, and sure. I just remember you, you know what I mean, learning that from you. It doesn't do a whole lot for losing fat, but it's good for cardiovascular, and if you got nothing else to do, yeah, I would watch an entire movie. I'll, like, watch Braveheart while on the fucking treadmill. Not so much anymore, though. What a movie. And then, oh, what a ter <laughs> terrific movie. Yeah. Do you remember this? They may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I do. Yeah. I do all sorts of movie reference yeah. impersonations. If you and like. at the end of the movie, <laughs> what's, what's another movie of yours that you like? I'll do a thing. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, Goodfellas. Goodfellas. Uh, hold on, I got one. Hey, I told you not to do. What are you thinking? What's the matter with you? Why would you do that? Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, right. Remember Very that. Very good. Yeah. Very. Here's a, I'll get, let's get complex. Are you gonna stump me? I'm gonna oh. stump you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And see if you can do. And even if you don't know it, I want you to commit to it. Yeah, oh yeah. All uh, right. I always. I want it. a conversation between mm -hmm. <laughs> Han Solo and Chewbacca. Got it. Uh, hey, Chewie, listen. If we're gonna get to the Gagaba Gagaba <laughs> system by the twelve parsecs, <laughs> 12 we're parsecs. Gonna, we gotta pick up that kid and Leia over on the moon of Endor. Yeah. What do you think of that, Chewie? I say we better get going. <laughs>
barbaric. That's good. the best, Chewy, because you did the <laughs> translation. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. You want to know what the fuck he's saying. Yeah, yeah, thank you yeah, so yeah. much. I say we get going, Han. Yeah. All right. I, I, I did always... you eat? Did we eat? No. <laughs> Let's eat when we get there. Yeah. All right. You want to go to that? Yeah, that place. Yeah. Yeah, I like that place. You know, I, I Chewy lost me during one of the mo- the newer movies. Mm. How? Um, one day, well, like there was a scene where you know those where 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 um, Luke Skywalker with the, the 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 fucking island he was living on. Oh, recently the yeah, water yeah. island, right? Right. Where right. he was like just a hermit on a water island, right? Right. right. And there was these cute little penguin, bur- thing. penguin things yeah, that yeah, were yeah. like they're trying to mar- they marketed it as toys, right? And there was a scene where they show the two penguins l- watching Chewbacca trying to eat something, and on a grill or whatever with rotisserie, he had ki- killed one of those corgi things. Awesome, right? Yeah. yeah. And I walked out of the fucking theater. No, you did. I did, and I walked back in. Yeah. But it infuriated me. Yeah. Yeah. You- Why would Chewie do that? Because he's a fucking he's a stupid wolf. He's just like a dog. <laughs> oh, he's yeah. just like Lulio. No, but he has more cognitive like reasoning though. Yeah, no, he is a he is a, a humanoid kind of. Uh, what? How is that different from a human eating pig, beef, and other cute little animals? Yeah, we eat all sorts of cute animals. I and okay, but in a movie, like okay, first in a movie, I've, I've never kids. seen a movie where some guy right right is like eating a steak right, and there's two cows watching him going, who? Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. So like th- you know that's why. I mean I know in. In real life, Aww. if I, yeah, that is I weird. That those scene. things. Mm. Yeah. He ate one of those things, man. In front of them. Yeah. In front of them, man. That's yeah, fucked up. absolutely. That's fucked up. Yeah. It is weird. It would be like it would be. I, I'm shocked that they didn't do that. Like in 1987, Return of the Jedi, Chewie just eating Ewoks. <laughs> yeah, That's right. The same thing. It's the same concept. These right? guys are cute, but Ewoks Ooh. talk. Yeah. And yeah, there's literally like now the Tauntaun scene in Empire Strikes Back. I yeah. get that. The Tauntaun was already dead. It was already dead. And they never ate him, but they used him as insulation. Yeah. Yes. That's okay out of survival. That's perfectly fi- fine. R- Whereas right. if Chewie was like, it's cold here on this water <laughs> island, and he just stomped through <laughs> right. two of those cute little guys' mouths yeah. and wore them as slippers, that would be a <laughs> bit much. That would be weird. Using them for warmth. Yeah. Or if one of them naturally, oh, you know, it could be, right? I, I don't know what the concept behind it, but... um. Or how the corg? Well, I don't know. What, I think they're called corgi. I don't know. Porgs, what yeah. Porgs. Porgs, yeah. I don't know how that porg died, but what if the porg had already been dead? That could have been. Yeah, but if you have any type of intelligence, you never just pick up a dead animal and eat it because yeah. you don't know how it died. Right. It so he did part. murder it. Yeah. So he yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Chewie would either rub his face into a dead porg or cook, <laughs> a, kill yes. and cook a live one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would, I would try one though. During the credits of of that movie, it should have just been Chewy on a killing spree, and, <laughs> and preparing them in different ways, like a, <laughs> right, like a like a you know like a a porg poke pokey, yeah, uh, or porg like, poke, yeah, uh, <laughs> or you know uh, you know like a ceviche kind of thing, yeah, and then like grilling and frying them, or and doing po- all sorts of TikTok. What I would do if, if I was a director, I would just say, oh, do one where you're pounding the meat, yeah, right, and then do the the the, you know, the little cutlet. The cutlet, like cutlet. Yeah. Yeah, let's Pounded make a pork down. cutlet. Katsu? Yeah. Like a katsu. katsu. Like a yeah. katsu. You know what I mean? See, that, and I would eat that if there was like a Star Wars themed restaurant yes. at like Disneyland or Disney World. Yes. And it's like pork cutlets. Yes. You know, and the kids are crying and you're like, mm, <laughs> just chicken, relax. Yeah. Head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We need more like uh, child abuse at theme parks like when we were kids. What do you, you mean? Know? Well, we were always forced to eat like you're eating Pluto, but Goofy's serving food. <laughs> Uh, you ever eat at that uh, restaurant? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I used to go to this place in, I would specifically go to Vegas to go to the Star Trek experience. <laughs> What's so funny? Pussy. Anyway, what? <laughs> what you call me? Pussy. <laughs> so what are you and I think it was at the Hilton. <laughs> yeah. And and I anyone I was there with, like in Vegas, they'd be like, I think I took Ike there once. Yeah, yeah. It's like, why are you going there, dude? Like, we're at the Bellagio. Right. I go, it's a fucking Star Trek experience. But what I loved about it <laughs> is they had Romulan ale. Romulan mm-hmm. ale. Yeah. At, so they had a bar there. Yeah. Right. And, you know, some g- poor guy had the Klingon prosthetics oh, on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. do you want? You right. know what I mean? And I'm like, Romulan ale, please. Yeah. And he'd have to do a, like a scripted line, like, that's illegal. And, 
you know what I mean? The Confederation. Yeah. But I, I got someone, <laughs> you know, I got somebody in the back, you know what I mean? Like one of those kind of lines. Yeah. And we would giggle and he would come and they put some sort of thing where it would like have a vaporized effect to it. Oh. Mm. There was like steam coming from it. It was just ginger ale. It was yeah. just ginger ale. But oh, you know what I mean? Dry ice? Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just, and then, and then you get, you, what? Is it dry ice? But dry ice is dangerous. Oh. I hope he's it's not like a dry, dry icy ice. kind of a thing. Yeah. 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 And then w- w- what you could do is they had the Enterprise, and I used to love, I would wait in line hours and take the photo. It was With great. what? With like a cardboard cutout of Patrick Stewart? Or? <laughs> <laughs> That's the catch. The catch is, I was Picard, baby. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Ah, that's fart great. again? Huh? You fart again? <sighs> I'm always farting. We're always all farting just a little bit. Did you know that, no. scientifically speaking? What do you mean? We're all always seeping just a tiny bit of methane from our holes. No, I don't know. That's Canadian science probably. No, but, <laughs> what else you want no, but is that the truth? Because that really, com- that really scares me. No, for me it would be. I, I, would, <laughs> I would like some sort of system where maybe I just... Like tuck a plastic McDonald's straw up my ass, so I'm not making loud farts. Right, it's just always just coming out, whenever. And then you can just kind of uh, kink it to the side while you're in your car. Yeah, and you might avoid uh, shitting your pants with a form poo mm. while you're driving up your driveway, so you don't have to hose your asshole <laughs> down to the backyard. Uh. I used to um, <laughs> make uh, make fun of a boy that I dated. I actually used to get the ick from it because he would always spread his cheeks when he would fart. Oh. But then now I'm like, wait. That's genius. That's how you. I do. That's that. how you fart silently. That's yeah. what I do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you spread it real, mm-hmm. it, yeah. there's no sound that comes. What do you mean? Uh huh. It's more like. I've been doing that lately. Well, you know what I do, and this is now this podcast is well, whatever. We were talking about cups of shit. We don't give a shit. Yeah, everything yeah, is yeah, under yeah. that. We talk about this every week. Well, this is something that I'm sure people do. Now, yeah. Kalila, you you wouldn't do this, but I think the guys here, hey, the guys, yeah, men and women sure are different. Hey, you know, I've been doing some stand up. You want to hear a joke? Have you really been doing stand-up? Men and women sure are different. No, I haven't. <laughs> but um, yeah. uh, you know what I do is like I'm laying there on my side, and yes, you reach down and you grab a bum cheek, mm-hmm. and you just slowly, and so just, yes. and it comes out. And then uh, uh, my wonderful fiance will say, hey, did you, what the, hey, don't, you know. And then I'll, I'll blame it on Ronnie, because oh, she's hey. a gassy little dog. Ah. But, but of course, we all have our own distinct, Smells. smells. Yeah. Uh, fortunate for me, and you're not going to believe this, Ronnie's smell worse than mine. Ah. So, yep. Here's a little Korean science for you, mm-hmm. right? And this is something that I, I learned, right? Is <laughs> Korean, is, Korean, is, science. Korean science. Isn't that the new, that's the new Guns N' Roses album that took 20 <laughs> years to come Guns out? Guns N' Roses. Oh, no, that's yeah. Chinese democracy. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Sweet. That's sweet. Oh, that's yeah. a fucking sweet sweater. Yeah. Yeah. Lila's wearing a I got Guns N' Roses baby. sweater. You did. Yeah. Anyway, here's some Korean science. Beep, 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 beep. Korean, Korean science guys. alert. Um, my po- my farts have not been smelling at all. Oh, in that, fact, yeah, that's the most Korean thing. No, I'll t- but <laughs> <laughs> very Korean, <laughs> very farts. clean and, and efficient. Yeah. yeah, you know. Um, in fact, the the smell is crisp. Oh, it's like, like almost oxygen, like, like a freshener. springtime, like a like you're on a lake in yeah. y- you know the Great Lakes. I don't know where the yeah. Great Lakes are. Yeah, there, yeah. Are there Great Lakes? Yeah, there's a yeah, yeah during like during the spring, oh. on a Great Lake on a on a boat, and, and a, you get a gust of is that true? Yeah, a little gust of wind, right? No smog, not that's what my fart. And I, <sighs> but uh, but one time last week, it smelled real bad. What did you eat? And no, it's not eating. What I realized is that the farts smell when you have a gun loaded. Oh, mm. Lola. When there was a when there's a poo in the shaft. Oh, turd yes. bullet. Right, so the air goes through the poo. Yeah. Right to get released. The poo is right. like the filter, the bad filter. Right, it's a bad <laughs> filter. Right, so it's like. Yeah. Here's the th- deal. Back that's here. that's and that's I've heard that's pure I, science. I was reading Korean science. <laughs> I can't remember where I where I read this, but there was some sort of story just about you know North Korean propaganda and stuff, and that they were claiming that Kim Jong Un's farts smell like a spring meadow, even when he has a shit in his asshole. That's a lie. I know it's that's a impossible. Lie. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's, it's like when they say that he he bowled a perfect game or yeah. he shot a whatever under par in golf. Or stuff, and they say his uh, poo. Even if he has a, a big poo poo lodged in his hole, 
that his farts still smell like. He will just, to cabinet members, <laughs> have you ever seen video of this where he just pulls his pants down, spreads <laughs> no, his ass? No, no, yeah, and they lean never forward seen that. into his hole. Goes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that? Yeah. They go, thank you. Yes. Yeah. Yes, very good. Boink! Roman! Is that the sound of your that's, boner? That's literally, when I take Roman, right? That's literally my penis rising. One more time. Boring Roman. I, I can I can tell you guys that's exactly what it sounds yeah. like. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Raise your hands if you have ED. Okay, you guys, a lot of it's common. And it's not embarrassing, right? When the moment for intimacy arrives, you need to be ready, Roman ready. Whether you've been in a relationship for years or just getting started, having the confidence that comes from preparation means you're free to enjoy the moment mm. when the moment comes. And honestly, the truth is ED is really common. There's actually no shame in that. In fact, 52% of guys age 40 to 70 experience some form of erectile dysfunction. Yep. The benefits of ED treatment can help you reconnect with your partner and rediscover the joy of sex. Oh. Roman Ready is confidence personified. It is the self-assurance that comes from knowing that you've prepared yourself for the moment when intimacy arrives. Getting started is simple. Just go to get roman.com slash belly and complete an online visit once again go to get roman.com slash belly today if you're and if you're prescribed you get 15 dollars off your first month of ed treatment make sure you're ready to have confidence and control this fall roman ready helix sleep if you want to sleep like me buying a mattress is a really big deal mm -hmm. you know it's very they're usually it's serious yes because you spend like a quarter of your life laying on that bed, it has to be made of good quality stuff, don't you think? Yeah, and the thing, um, the thing is, is this, and people, I love it when I say that, is we have Helix mattresses in this house. Mm -hmm. We gave my brother a Helix mattress. We've given away as gifts. You know, we have a new place that we're furnishing with Helix mat mattresses. Ooh. It's our favorite thing, and it's comfortable. <coughs> it's um, the 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 best in the market, and it's so affordable. Helix Sleep has a quiz that just takes two minutes to com complete and mat matches your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. Why would you buy a mattress made for someone else? Huh? That's insanity. Mm -hmm. With Helix, you're getting a mattress that you know will be the perfect for the way you sleep. For example, I am a side sleeper and I tend yeah. to run pretty hot. So I got the, the midnight mattress, but okay. they also, what's really cool is they have a luxe version of that. Mm. That is just such a dream. Ooh la la. Yeah. They have soft, medium, and firm mattresses. Mattresses great for cooling you down if you sleep hot. Mattresses great for spinal alignment. Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash belly. That's up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows at helixsleep.com slash belly. Yeah. I go, thank you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Very good. You know, one of our um, sponsors on my other podcast, a couple, was it last year, was this company that made butt tape. <laughs> and basically mm. its job is to keep your uh, your cheeks spread apart for whatever purpose you need that for. <laughs> there are three purposes, I guess. <laughs> There's a handful. Let's name the three purposes. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. There's right. two I can think of. Yeah, yeah. Um, number one. So you Silent never farts. We know that never Silent fart. Farts, so you yeah. never fart, mm -hmm. right? Or yeah. they're constantly so, the seeping. Yeah. So the cheeks spread apart, sweetie. It doesn't. You don't tape the asshole. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, okay. It would make apart. no sense if you tape the asshole. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That. Uh, and also, <laughs> why would you sell that? I could just do that on my own. <laughs> right. I'll just go get tape, electrical tape, and but just. They do that to check for worms. They tape the asshole, and you check for the larva. Oh, oh God! God. That's Whoa! Oh, back that's me backing up. Well, that's how you do it. But let me ask you about that, right? Mm -hmm. oh. Why would you have larvae in your butthole? Because kids and humans <laughs> get parasitic worms. Yeah, you rub your face in a dead mouse, and then later you have <laughs> larvae in your butt. Oh, oh, I didn't. I'd like to market a tape that's the opposite of that, that keeps your butt cheeks together, so that <laughs> when you fart, it's loud, so, sort of like a super trap muffler. <laughs> But like a like a low to the ground, you know, Honda or Mitsubishi. Yeah. Rolling around, you're like, come on, with a brat, brat, brat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just like tape that's really it's for and it's for sweaty, big sweaty butt guys like me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Will Sasso. Are you having a hard time making loud farts and scaring your partner out of bed? Laying it on the dock? Yeah, yeah. Get Will Sasso's butt tape. But you know what? It would backfire. Because sure if would. your ass if your ass, right? Yeah. Is clamped down like that. Yeah. Right? It would sound not like a far, but like a what? Whistle? Queef. Oh. So I don't peace. think you've heard a queef lately. I have. They, t they sound like tight farts. 
I just watched a funny queef on Instagram. A girl, <laughs> was, uh, she was like, oh, I'm going to talk to my duck. Yes, I saw that Did one. Did you see that? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Probably going viral today. Hey, everybody, check out the internet. Speaking of the internet, you want to talk about my new podcast? I got one. <laughs> <laughs> What's it called? It's called Dudesy. Huh? Dudesy. Who is it with? Me and Chad Culchin. Do you know Chad? Have you ever met Chad? No. Who is he? Chad's a, a, a writer of a uh, writer and producer, he, uh, films, movies. He writes books and shit. We've known each other almost 20 years. And uh, yeah, we got a new podcast. And it is the, this is why I stuck this sticker. That's our logo. Um, uh, it's a D. And um, it, <laughs> Dudesy is uh, the first ever, there we are. It's the first ever podcast ever uh, actually run by this proprietary AI. It's run by artificial intelligence. We had a what? company. Yeah, we had a company approach us that said, we have this proprietary AI that's moving into the podcast space. We want to use AI for, I mean, everyone's using AI for everything, you know, nowadays. Yeah. Uh, there's medical applications and uh, governments are being run by AI. And so we have this fucking, yeah, it is. In China. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Using I know. AI to, yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, so. I understand. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Anything Asian, he gets like, don't. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know, China, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah so we started a new podcast called Dudesy. Well, we didn't start it. This, this thing approached us. They said, all you guys got to do is show up. We will give you the assignments. We will give you the segments. And basically, the AI, one of the things that we've learned that it does and that it guarantees is that each uh, episode, well, it guarantees this. I don't know if it does it. But each episode should be better than the last because it gathers data based not only on our podcast, but oh. comments out there, analytics of what has been heard, what the audience is responding to, says less of that, more of this. And um, oh. yeah, it's really fucking weird, dude. I don't dude. know. It's interesting. It's a fun thing. And basically, it's taken our, like we gave our, like our passwords, search histories, data histories, purchase histories. It has all of our text messages between each other and everything Ooh. else. So it has let, access let, to everything. Let me get this straight. So it can design. Let's look at this podcast we just did today. Okay. Okay. So much. So people are listen. People are listening, right? Yeah. And they they like the 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 tape in the butt. Yeah. Right. That whole right the tape in the butt thing. Right. So the AI will get all the, the comments and all all this stuff and the clips and all this stuff. Right. Yeah. It Generates, and then the next week, Dudesy or the people that run the thing go. No, it's just Dudesy now. It's just Dudesy and us. Okay, but you guys, right? They say, um, or they really like the so do more of the tape in the butt thing. But right, but Dudesy would also sort of uh, essentially create a segment where that would make sense. Like here, let me give you a weird little. Okay, yeah, like, give me, give me, give me. But no, but I'm just saying, like it oh, go, goes go, like. Go, 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 go. That was a weird uh, <laughs> But the pod, it, it has also consumed every podcast ever recorded. It's listened to every podcast I've ever done. It well, you know this this this. Um, group that is working in AI basically sicked the the AI out on the podcast space and was looking for two people who are friends in real life who have podcast experience. Chad has a podcast about The Bachelor that he does, and he used to do TMP with me from like 2015 on, uh, him and Tommy Blacha. And, uh, he, he, and basically what happens is it, is it said, here are two guys. Will Sasso hasn't done podcasts in like three or four years. Uh, this is a good group to do it because they're sort of fresh to this kind of concept. And uh, it, it will essentially, it, you know, it essentially tailors uh, each, each segment and tailors the show uh, for our audience and, and for us and find strengths like it'll say, hey, because it's listen to every podcast, news podcasts are a popular thing, blah, blah, blah. Will Sasso, you won't stop doing your stupid Hulk Hogan impersonation. So <laughs> it's like, do, this is infomania. So it's like, I don't know, it's like Hulk Hogan delivering the news. So, th But then it AI generates a comedic script based on other bits that I've done, things with Chad, the way that, like some of Chad's writings, some of my Hulk Hogan stuff, uh, the actual news, it, it's bizarre. Have you ever heard like AIs like um, do like Nirvana or something? Or it's like these are Beatles songs that don't exist. And oh no! Like, they, oh, do, do they do that now? Yeah, Dude, yeah, they yeah. do everything. Okay. I want to. I want to listen. Wanna listen to it. All right. If you put up your headphones on, you guys. Oh, oh, okay. All AI.
fucked up? Yeah, yeah. It, you know what? If what? you don't mind, if you hit that oh F5 my God. of been, the thing. Oh, my God. been talking about AI that Doopsie <clears throat> popped up on the... Wow. That's, weird. that's weird. <laughs> it's at work. Well, it's sitting here in my phone, I guess. But uh, if you hit... Uh, or listening through my phone. If you play the first few seconds of that, you'll pl you'll you'll see the song I'm talking about in the intro. Uh, after you take this survey. Artificial intelligence trailer. I wrote a song about the stupid AI. Pick the right song. You gotta pick the right song to cry to. Yeah. <laughs> Don't cry at just any song. Don't be macho. Don't what? cry at a. Oh, here we go. Oh, go Oh, man, oh, man. AI a fucking hole, right? Look how happy we are to be digging it. You look happier than me. I don't know. You got a pretty big smile on your face. Clink. Jump in the hole and stay in the hole. Wow. Hey, all right. You know? Well, I'm talking over that. Because may, may I say something show. real quick? Um, <coughs> you know. Will and his buddy just started this new Dootsie podcast. They get CGI intros and stuff. What do we got, bud? We don't have CGI. No, no, but we don't got CGI. We got nothing. We don't have no AI. We got nothing here, baby. Well, time for you guys to start riding on the crest of that future wave. Yeah. How do we get into this, uh, this arena? AI. Uh, wow. Yeah, I want to get in the AI arena, dude. You want to know it. something, Yeah, Bobby? Yeah. Dootsie's listening right now, and Dootsie hears you. Wow. Dootsie knows what you want before yeah. you even say it. But that Nirvana song, terrible. <laughs> what are you talking about? Even the even the <laughs> fucking setting, terrible. Also, what are you talking you wouldn't have that that could have been one. You know, oh Beatles. Oh yeah, I want to hear the Beatles. And now this because I'm a Beatles fan. Me too. This will convince me, but yeah. I doubt it. Okay, stop. Eh, it's not, the worst Beatles so song I've ever heard in my it's life. A, it's a Ringo song. It's sure. a, yeah, it's a Ringo. Ringo. Definitely. Yeah, yeah it's a yeah, submarine. It's an yeah. octopus's yeah. garden. It's That's not as good as the Nirvana in my Yeah, yeah. Opinion. But the Nirvana has literally Cobain's mm. guitar sound. Mm. Mm -hmm. the, 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 but, it, it, but it sounds like Kurt went, hey, guys, let's work on a song. And they just kind of jammed. Yeah. But it's not a finished product like, let's put this on the album. Well, you know that, well, no. But that, you know that, the way that and they whatever they, this is if you're a Nirvana fan you know that he would a lot of times just come up with melodies and a lot of songwriters do this and go ran a ran a ran a ran a ran a ran and then fucking words later right you know right okay um I don't know it's it's really it's you know what I think I I think I'm freaking out right now how would you feel if, I'm scared like a couple of years from now you see a guy on the screen. Um, in a comedic role that looks like you, sounds like you, but somehow you're not getting residuals for that. Oh, so they they AI'd Bobby Lee. Yeah, CGI'd because everything. let's say Bobby Lee quit. Well, if They're I was, like, but we want Bobby in like and just I, like that season six. I think that you. I'm sorry to cut you off. Yeah. How, how would you feel if that happened? But I, I, I but I, you can cut me off. Okay, I like, often do. Uh, what I'm in. A, okay, sorry. let's suppose I'm in a movie theater. Yeah, and I don't know <laughs> I'm in the movie, mm -hmm. or you know what I right. mean. And I'm watching. I think it would be distracting because I'd be jerking off. <laughs> I love myself so, so much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. No, but I, I think that it would. I would probably walk back into the lobby and call my agent and go, what the fuck is this? Well, I think that there's going to be, and this is what I was going to say in response to that, that our likenesses and the things that we do as performers, I think we're in the sweet spot just being alive in 2022 because they will have to license that shit. Like, you know, um, Bruce Willis is in a commercial right now, say what you will, in Russia about, uh, I don't know what the product is, but it's completely deep fake mm. mm. AI Bruce Willis. And they're doing a lot of this shit now where there is going to be, I don't and know. Now is Bruce getting it. money from that? Yes, absolutely. Oh, good, good, oh, good, good. Yeah, he's getting, it's licensed. Right, it's right. his thing. The James Dean movie, of course, the estate of James Dean. How are they doing the James Dean movie? You know what? I don't know, but he's... Like it's like Star Wars. It's like the Princess Leia at right. the end of whatever. What was that? Rogue One or something? Anyway, I don't know. No, it was. I don't care. She wasn't in Rogue One. All right, sorry, buddy. Yeah, yeah. The, so uh, <laughs> this is an AI. Uh, people have been posting this online. Like AI um, converts like cartoon characters into real people. Oh yeah. 
So this is all, that's all AI generated. Look at that. Most faces all over from, the world. That's insane. Simpsons. That's not a real person. That's not a real person. That's insane. Give me more. Give me more. Eric. <coughs> oh, okay. Well, that looks like that's a good one. Aww. That's so fucking good, dude. Yeah. Well, everyone, check it out. <laughs> Dudesy. Dudesy. And also check out the, what's the movie that we're in together? I forget what it's called. Do you what's know what it's, it's about? Uh, we're doing a movie called The Throwback. That's what it's called. It's called The Throwback. It's called, by, it's called The Throwback. That is so cool that you're doing it. I Listen, know. I only just, like, I knew about this movie for a bit, but it's yeah. not of my doing. And um, so I'm happy to be on the team, and it's great. And Justina Machado is is in it. Uh, wow. She's a, a fantastic actor, and uh, we've worked together before, so I'm stoked about that. And then you're coming out. That's going to be awesome. That's going to be so much fun. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I only did it because of you. Well, now I'm only doing it because of you. Because what is that? Oh, look at oh, that. Is that Jessica Simpson? That's, yeah, that's you, also crazy. That that's Jessica that's Simpson sweetie, and me. That's so cute. Yeah, that was the first sketch I ever did. Are you serious? Is that your guys' first sketch together? Yeah, that was the first sketch I ever did. Look at your frosted tips. I know, and I it was my I was so scared. I remember I only did that character one time. It was a guy, guy <laughs> named what was it? Donnie. Yeah, that's not a character, dude. That's just you and. <laughs> Like, you got Jessica Simpson, and then I'm yeah. over there pretending to be Fred Durst. But can I so, tell you what happened and there? Donnie is just yeah. so. There's a scene in that thing where, and they didn't, they didn't, they cut it out. But there's a scene where we're all dancing at the end, right? And I hit, I was wailing my hands, and I hit Jessica Simpson no. in the mouth. Oh, oh my god! god. Yeah, and she, when she opened her mouth, her teeth were red from blood, dude. Bobby. And I remember Dick Blasucci going, "Keep going." <laughs> Keep going. Yeah, and I was like, I'm fired. <laughs> I'm fired. I'm fucking fired. You know what I mean? In my head. Oh, but man. I remember that. Dude, I re who you played Fred Durst there, right? Yeah, that's Fred <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at how skinny I was. Look at how skinny I was. I mean, you're I getting was. back there again. And young. Dude, we were killing it back We were killing it back Before then. I had my tattoos removed. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know what's yeah. funny about those times? Great cast, yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's not a cast. That's when we came back to do... Oh, that's recent. one of the last shows. Oh, oh that's uh, right. Yeah, I, myself and Mo. Yeah, Mo. And Alex came. Lanigan's back. there with Deborah. Was Deborah? No, Deborah came back. Came back. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, when when I was on that show, I remember thinking, I can't wait. What's next? Or, you know, I can't wait to get out of the show to do something else. Yeah. And it's like, I wish. I wish I was more appreciative really? while I was there, yeah. Really? Yeah, because it felt like, because I've never been in a play, really, and I've never, I don't know what it's like to run around, you know, like live nights, you know, live, live night, when you're in like a bunch the, of shit. The best. You're just, you know, you're done with the sketch and you're just pulling off wigs and changing into the thing and like looking at your script and just the excitement of the night. Crazy. Crazy nights. Sometimes you would do pre-shoots at six in the morning and, yeah. and then you have to do something at night. I and mean, it was just like a crazy time, but I I just thought that that was going to be like forever. Me too, right? I get it. And get it's it. not. It's, yeah, there's nothing it. like it. Mm -hmm. No, it, I, I people ask like, was that fun? I mean, fuck yeah, it was fun. So fun. Of course, there were all sorts of, I mean, you throw all these comedic people together and really, with Mad TV, it's been said that the 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 inmates were running the asylum. Yeah, between those writers and those performers, and writer performers, and everyone just coming up with shit, it was like it was so. Uh, yeah, you think it's just going to last because you are in this crazy fast moving machine with yeah. such turnaround, and it's like as soon as the show's over, you get a pack of. Here's what's in the, you know, we've done the table read earlier in the week and they've worked out what's go, what's going to actually be in the show. And it's like, oh, shit, OK, this is what's in the pack. This is what we're shooting next week. Yeah. that We're going to go and do a table read and then we're going to move into rehearsals and do it. And it's like you barely have the weekend to to, you know, to come off of that the last show and get ready for the next one. But you liked it that way. It was like, mm. yeah, it was weird. It but was I feel like everybody thought that. Okay, this is like the you know Saturday Night Live light or whatever you want to say, but we'll and definitely people of of course everyone that's moved on uh, to do other things we're all fortunate to keep going, but it it was this weird thing of like 
hey, we're going to move on in a very specific way, right? Like, what does Mad TV mean when Saturday Night Live, if Saturday Night Live means this and then Living Color means that or what, whatever, what, uh, all the sketch shows down the line, what does Mad TV mean? But no, we never did, well, Living Color never did either, but like a Mad TV movie yeah. or any of that shit. It was like once that show spat you out, it was like, you're done. Yeah, and also you could tell that like there was no promotions. Like I never like saw a billboard or thoughts on it. Never. Never. There was no promotion, no commercials really. Dude, my first season, season three, yeah. they spent the entire fucking publicity budget yeah. on a bus that that had our that was like had us on it, the cast, like all over this big dumb bus, you know, like a huge cruise bus. And it was going around town, or sorry, going around town. It was going around the country, and it was like the Mad TV bus and blah, 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 and come out, and there's going to be this and that and that and this. <laughs> but they blew all the fucking money. They didn't have any money in the budget for publicity to fly us out or even have us live in the goddamn thing and it's get crazy. out. To, so all there was with it was this fucking bus <laughs> driving around. <laughs> With our that pictures, no. yo, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's, that's the, the bus. bus. That's the Mad TV. It bus. was a bus. That's it. Wow, that's our promotion. That was our <laughs> entire yeah, yeah. budget. Yeah, and, and it, to it, see it, it now, it, it, it's only in Huntington Beach too. So. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. It was just this bus, and it and on the show they would run a commercial like the Mad TV bus is blah blah blah, and they shot this little promo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Meet the cast of Mad TV. <laughs> we don't have any money to. Yeah. Buy. So yeah, we're doing the show. And that was it. Not a fucking commercial. Wow. You would never see a Mad TV commercial on Fox. Yeah. Unless it was within the Mad TV hour block. It coming was, up. Yeah. Coming yeah, yeah, up. yeah. Coming up. Or after after, after the local news. I think it was after after local news. You would see a commercial for Mad TV. Yeah. Two minutes before <laughs> Mad TV started. I know. It was insane. Which is something that happened with other TV shows yeah. back in the day. I go. What do we do? We not know that we're about to watch <laughs> yeah. the show that we're literally in the hour block. Yeah, I, you, you did feel like they didn't give a shit. Mm. And it was also weird because when I went on, I, I don't want to name names, but when I came on the show, the year I went, came on, there was a lawsuit between an actor and the show, right? And then a lawsuit between two other actors as well, yeah. right? So it's like two actors. I don't think there was. I don't think it escalated to actual lawsuits. No, but there was threats, or it was a weird. There was one but, thing about T-shirts because we didn't have any. Yeah, one was T-shirt, but there was also one about racism, right? The, yes, there was perceived racism. There was a lot going on. Yeah, and when well, I came yeah. on, and I remember one of the actors coming up to me and going, "Why'd you sign up for this? this is a nightmare." Jesus. And I was just like, oh, "This is my first week." <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's like <laughs> yeah i was like what yeah but also it's like look in a show like that or i mean there's books written about saturday night live yeah. and how competitive it was i do believe that is more competitive and even more dysfunctional just from what i've heard oh yeah no no i, I know a guy i had lunch dinner with a guy two weeks ago that's on the show yeah and he was just like just his hand his head was in his the whole dinner Going, I don't know what I'm gonna do, man. I yeah. just, I'm so miserable. Well, to get your shit on. Yeah. Like I remember, there was uh, someone writing on the show who was good friends with one of the cast members back in the 2000s, and said that she, she was like all excited. Oh, my friend so and so is on Saturday Night Live. Oh, cool. And then she didn't for like seven or eight weeks. She didn't get anything in the show. Got close, dress rehearsal, she's in the show. Oh my God. And then last minute, Lauren's like, no, I don't think so. And then so it's out. So she couldn't technically be in the credits yet or something. Oh, wow. Man. So it's like she's, you know, you're you're not just fighting for your job every week. You're ne you're not even on the show that you're being paid <laughs> to be on. Yeah, yeah. On Saturday Night Live. It's insane. And if you're a performer and you don't hunt down writers or bring your own shit and go, Again, this is just from what I've heard from other writers and performers uh, that that you're fucked. You're yeah. not you're not getting on the show. Whereas Mad TV was run a little more like a TV show. We there was sort of a a thing of like, well, you know, Will's light in this episode, throw him in this sketch, or like Bobby's light and he's new. So let's tell him that this is a character. We'll call him Donnie and let him. Dance around. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I, there was a couple uh, episodes where like. This week you're gonna be 
Japanese businessman number two. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Literally, literally, number two. I'm like, who's number one? Yeah, who's number There's one? No, I'm the only Asian guy on the no fucking team. <laughs> they cast that out. Yeah. But, <laughs> who's, no, no, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who's number one? Pat Kilbane. He can do anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But one time. Frank Caliendo is. But uh, you could, but there, it wasn't like, like, you know, I pooed in Dick Lasucci's office. I heard about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and I did it because he didn't put me in the Jackie Chan sketch. Mm-hmm. I've talked yeah, about this before. I feel like I, it, it, How is there a Jackie Chan sketch at Mad TV and you're not in it? He was oh, actually, a sketch with Jackie yeah, Chan. Yeah, he was actually there. Yeah, that's kind of weird. You, wanna, you want to... I, I mean, bet. shit, they had that super Asian episode of Saturday Night Live recently where they had... I can't, I can't remember who was hosting. Simu Lu, the is Shang, that, Shang-Chi. Yes, yes, right? And then so him and like Bo and Yang. and It, it was like... Um, and I have a buddy who's uh, uh, working on the show right now as a director, Mike Diva, uh, oh, who's wow. Asian, yeah. and and so it's like, you know, so they, you know, on on social media they're like, hey, like with writers and things. I think it's good, well, whatever. We didn't know what the fuck we were doing twenty five years ago. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, if Jackie Chan's on the show, yeah, Bobby Lee in it, yeah, yeah. put Bobby Lee in the fucking yeah. sketch. But they didn't, so I put it in his office. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, that's what you get. But um, I apologize, Dick. I love that guy. Um, so we're going to do an unhelpful advice. Go ahead. Unhelpful advice with Bobby, Kalila, and Will Sasso. Uh, long story short, I grew up and still live in a small town, which is made even smaller because I'm English and I live in Quebec, so there are less of us. I'm currently, t- uh, taking, my ex-boy- my, my, I'm currently taking my ex-boyfriend to court for beating me up on multiple occasions. The entire English community that surrounds me has taken sides and have taken his side. He's an extrovert and a popular, likable guy in public for contacts. I have so much proof a judge decided to allow a trial, which takes place this year on July 29th. People have seen the proof themselves and still take his side just for popularities, I guess. My question is, how do you deal with something like this? To be more specific, how do you become okay with, fa- with the fact that people choose what is popular over what's right despite having overwhelming proof? Thanks, Leah. Can I, can I just Please. know this is not my... Thing, but does this person know that they were contacting a podcast and not an attorney? <laughs> we get some wild stuff. Wild, yeah. yeah. So the further, so and I just want to say out loud, I just would like to preface whatever you're about to say <laughs> and whatever I may be moving on to saying yeah. to help this this person who's in a horrible situation. None of this will help. Go on. <laughs> yeah. Unhelpful advice. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, this is I'm, I'm, I don't really have a funny point of view. This is just the honest, the honest, <laughs> He's the, so the honest, the honest thing is. But don't um, you want to really help this fucking? I person? am trying to help this person. So wait a minute, you do unhelpful advice. Does this person? So this person is joking on their own shit. No, no, no. no. They really want us to see what our point of we view. We say is. unhelpful to protect ourselves. To protect like ourselves, reason. right? So you right. pricks are going like, hey, he, <laughs> no, this is terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, here's a bit. No, it's not. A, but this is real though. <laughs> I don't think dudesy would allow you to do this if dudesy. <laughs> Like, dudes would be like, this is nothing but a liability, and it's a waste of your comedic talent. <laughs> you can't control how people feel and think, right? Mm-hmm. People will just have their opinions. So you can't, you can't stress out about things you can't control, right? So that's one thing. But the second thing is, is that he is going to court, right? Mm-hmm. That in itself, right, is stressing him the fuck out. That just alone. He might not get, you know what I mean, convicted he, you know what i mean i don't know what's going to be the outcome but this is not this is not a happy part of his life i i don't unless he's a narcissist mm-hmm. and he enjoys the the attention. attention yeah but if he's a normal relatively normal guy who has like a rage streak or whatever it's not a good time for him he's stressed out he thinks about it every day what's going to happen this and that and it's probably affecting him in a negative way you know mm-hmm. Um, but the outcome of the trial and how people feel, you have no control over that. And I, just in my own personal life, I'm, I'm going through a lot of different things. And I can't, you know, on Twitter, people's opinion, I, I can't fight them. I, that's just how they feel. And they don't have, I don't know why they say what they say, but it's like, that's it. Yeah. Will? What, what, Will? Well, that's help. the currency. Help. That's the currency of the internet, is that people just kind of float out. It's not even. It might not even be their opinion. I know. You know what I mean? That's yeah. the thing. It's just there to. I mean, trolling is trolling. Yeah. And they just want to get a rise out of you. So it's like, here's the most abrasive thing I can say, and the shorter it is, the better. Like, uh, you know, whatever. Any response on Twitter? I mean, Twitter is. 
Twitter used to be just dick jokes and shit. It was fun. Yeah, it was fun. And now it's like super whatever. It is what it is now. I still, I still cruise Twitter. I don't use it too often, but yeah, don't pay a, any attention to it. Yeah. But the other thing is, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll see like uh, people with a profile. It's one thing if you say something that's super shitty or meant to hurt someone or is like a, an absolutely awful take. But I see people who are definitely very visible going, yeah, yeah, fuck you, which I think is horrible for the societal discourse. But it's also totally fine because, yeah, you know what? Fuck you. doesn't even mean much anymore. And if we're going to be able to survive the way that uh, the access that we're all um, uh, you know, subjected to now uh, and, and that we all – are sort of we're all in it whether or not we like it we all everyone gets a say and people under 30 don't get the way that you and i used to do comedy or be on tv or whatever and not have people coming at us just literally to be shitty i think that you do have to raise the stakes to some level of oh you know what fuck you i'm shutting your fucking noise off because it doesn't fucking matter sounds like this girl though is I don't know the particulars of whatever. Hopefully, mm -hmm. she gets she gets her justice. But um, it, but the thing is, of, so who cares if he's fucking popular and, and like who cares? Yeah, like that doesn't have anything to do with the bottom line. Yeah. In the meantime, stay at home, shit in a cup, don't go outside. <laughs> right. Order your food in. Yeah. Hopefully, you get a what is it called a three for one. Yeah. Someone comes okay. over, find a new relationship. Somebody who doesn't mind that you're <laughs> shitting in a cup. And you have dead cats over a mountain of fucking newspapers. <laughs> yeah. And you pull your ass cheek out sideways to fart silently. <laughs> Move on with your life and don't worry about how fucking popular this fucking goof is. Yeah. You know what I mean? He'll get his. He sounds like a bad guy, man. Sure. Like laying your the, his hands on you, that's fucking fucked up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. we'll see. Well, I mean, Keep but it's go, it's in trial. It's going to trial. Yeah. Go to trial. All right. Yeah. So yeah, fucking yeah. a. Yeah. That's the thing nowadays, man. I mean, we gotta fucking but rely you, on. But our... you Canadians have weird fucking laws. Oh yes, we have extremely weird laws. We have the uh, we have the house trade. You know what the house trade is? Every yeah. year you have to trade your house with a neighbor. <laughs> you never, you're not allowed to keep your house no, for, no, no, no. for a year. Never heard of that one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you trade your house of equal value. Yeah. But uh, just so that we can see how other people live, we're very multicultural, <laughs> right, 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 right. very woke, <laughs> and uh, we trade our houses. We, there's no such thing as land, uh, no <laughs> land ownership. <laughs> Um, I mean, you're complaining about the indoor plumbing. This lady's plumbing stopped and started. Our plumbing is run uh, totally. It's all electric uh, plumbing, <laughs> yeah. but our poo is very small and it fits in wires. <laughs> um, uh, uh, yeah, because of the way we eat. We eat clean, nothing but salmon and <laughs> peaches. I love Canadians, man. We're we're pretty fucking you're good, fucking aren't awesome. we? We're pretty we're pretty yeah. advanced uh, society. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we got some. We got some fucking problems in Canada too. Damn it, shit, fuck, fuck ass, shit, fart. So, Dude Z, where, do they, where can they find see Dude Z? Dude Z, you can get on YouTube. You can get it wherever you get podcasts, yes. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, all that stuff. Our uh, we're on uh, the Instagram is 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 pretty busy uh, at Dude Z Pod Show. It's Dude with S Y at the end. D U D E S Y. Dudesy Pod Show, Twitter, Instagram. I guess we'll do the and fucking check out the no. movie Throwback. The Throwback. The oh, Throwback. Oh, here's some Instagram happenings. Oh, it made me read some news about uh, heads in a box. Someone had human heads in a box in Denver. Right now it's 36 degrees in Denver, brother. Yeah, dude. <laughs> That's the news, brother. You got these human heads in a box in Denver, brother, and nobody knows where they came from. See, uh, it's just. Have you uh, ever met him? Uh, a few times, yeah. Hold. Is he nice? He's a very nice guy. Yeah. He's do you do nice the Hulk impression in front of him? Uh, I have. Oh, I did. Uh, didn't I do that once? No, I don't know. But you know where he is, dude. Where? He's, a, he's in Clearwater Beach, which is uh, uh, it's right next to Tampa. If it's not part of Tampa. Hogan's spot. Hangout. You guys should go there. I am going there every fucking day. Okay, but can we go? When I'm doing the movie. Yeah. Can you take me there? Uh, here's what has to happen. <laughs> yes. First of all, yes. Yes. I, Hulk Hogan, the character of Hulk Hogan, I always have to remind myself there's a man there also. And there's, there's been a lot of controversial things uh, that have uh, come in and out of Hulk Hogan's life over the past few years. That's, uh, that notwithstanding, he was Superman to me when I was a kid. There's no, there was nobody higher than Hulk. Yeah. So I also loved 
you know, I love the fucking A team. I love B.A. Baracus, you know, yeah, Mr. Yeah, T. Yeah. And when he started hanging out with Hulk, it was like, this to me was like, what? Heaven. Better than, like, fuck Batman, Superman, all the 80s. Like, yeah. Uh, who, who else was the big uh, guy? David Hasselhoff. None of these people mattered as much to me as Hulk Hogan. And now that, you know, I like to goof on him and do stuff, although it's very, I don't get into, you know me, I like light uh, victimless comedy, Bobby, especially on Mad TV as I'm impersonating Fred Durst. I'm sure that was very uh, kind. Um, but uh, I, I've, I've talked to him. He, you know, he knows that I do an impersonation of him. Uh, and, and I am going to, I'm going to have to reach out and be like, because I met him a few times. Like, no, I've been fortunate reach enough. Reach out to, when I'm there. Yeah, absolutely. I want to go to Hogan's ha Hangout. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, but I, I, I but just I had a stroke like when to, I said that. You know, I don't Hulk, like to Hogan hang 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 Hangout. I, I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm going to have to reach out. Yeah. I'm going to have to reach out and be like, hey, Terry. The fuck? Uh, oh, that's me on... Uh, <laughs> that's that's uh, We were promoting the movie The Three Stooges, <laughs> and we went to WWE Raw. We're looking at a picture of me as it was Curly doing a Hulk Hogan impersonation. <laughs> oh, that's insane. Oh, it went great, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> because... Uh, as a lifelong wrestling fan, you know, I believe that pro wrestling is a, a, a very unique art form. It's a I think you took produced. me to one. Oh, you I went did. to one? Yeah, you did take me to Dude, one. Dude, somebody, like, shared that online recently on, yeah. on social media. Wait, wait, that's online? Yeah, there's a picture of, there's video of me, like, oh, and we're there with Shawnee. With Sean. Oh, I tried to, tried to, tried to find it. I'm uh, it, it uh, I also brought Sean, the guy you were talking about, yeah, Andre yeah, yeah. 3000. Andre yeah, yeah. Andre 2000, because it was before 3000. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and and uh, I was giving you chops. I was chopping you in oh, the chest. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we were ringside. At, yeah. I've been fortunate enough to do a lot of stuff with those weirdos and hang out and get to go to shows and meet Hulk a bunch of times. It's always weird for me. Uh, he's not, you know, wrestling anymore now. You know yeah. Hulk is 92 years old. Jeez. Doesn't he look great? No, he's no. 92? No, he's not. He's oh, I was going to say. <laughs> How old he is he? He's in his 60s. He's in the 60s, yeah. yeah, yeah. He has to be, yeah. Yeah. But he's believe still... That? 60. Uh, 60. I was fucking like, believe that? Well, you know, I have COVID, like, brain fog, so I was like, maybe I just You think he's older than Joe Biden? <laughs> <laughs> he's older than Joe... Yeah, yeah 68. Yeah, yeah he's 68. <laughs> he's still old, wow. Yeah. That's not anyway. He's standing up straight. Let's give Will Sasso... And we, you know, you gotta visit more often. Man. I would love to. All right. I, so I, I, fucking, hey, let me say something to your to your audience directly. Bobby right here is saying, "Hey, you gotta go back more often." <laughs> Just tell him online, or fucking tell Dudesy, and Dudesy will get it done, and Bobby won't know anything about it. Say, have Will back. I'll come back on. You know what? I'll do some dudesy humor. Oh, I'll be. I'll, uh, you tell me what to say, and yeah. then I'll do a Hulk Hogan thing. Yeah. We'll have a great time. I'll get a fucking stack of solo cups, and I'll eat nothing but figs and olive oil uh, so that when I get here, I can shit all over your beautiful home. <laughs> hey, we did it. <laughs>